China's Ministry of Environmental Protection has launched an investigation after 500 middle school students became sick. Their school was built on a site that once housed three chemical factories. CCTV's Jiang Xiaoyi reports. 12-year-old Zhen is a student at Changzhou Foreign Language School. After the school relocated to a new site, the pain started. Her classmate Jane had other symptoms, a severe headache and a rash all over his face. And they weren't the only ones. Within months, more than 600 students went to doctors, and nearly 500 were diagnosed with various illnesses and conditions. Several had leukemia. Frightened parents started to deliver homemade food and water, doubting the safety of the school cafeteria. Some of them point fingers at an excavation site only a street away from the school, where three chemical factories stood. A senior staff member who had worked in the Changlong factory, the biggest of three, spoke on the condition of anonymity. He said they used to produce highly toxic chemicals, such as the pesticide methamyl. Here used to be an inland river, into which we poured chemical wastes. And here, about 30 meters in length, as big as a basketball court, used to be the place we buried dangerous waste. It caused great pollution. This environmental report reveals that a great amount of pollutants were detected underground after the factories moved away. And the level of some major pollutants like chlorobenzene are reportedly nearly 100,000 times the safety limit. In December 2014, the factory had been fined 160 million yuan for contamination. So why the school was allowed to be built less than 100 meters away, education authorities say, the site passed inspection. But experts found big loopholes in the assessment. The students' parents have hired a testing company to conduct further assessments, where multiple pollutants were reportedly detected in the water, soil, or even air near the school's new site. An expert has weighed in on the case. The pollution was obvious, and as far as I'm concerned, the pollutants detected are similar to the chemical discharge from those factories. There could be some links. And while local authorities conduct further investigation, the danger remains. Jiang Shaoyi, CCTV.